Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Ganshi Plans. Um, I uh, This video is going out a little bit late if you were eagerly anticipating a Thursday 8 a.m. video. Um, hopefully you saw my community tab post where I mentioned it might be late, and I think it is. Uh, because it is Thursday morning right now and I'm only just filming it. But today is the much anticipated, I'm sure, 2022 setup slash January flip through video. Um, and yeah, not not a whole lot has changed, but I'm going to focus a little bit today on some of the yearly stuff. Um, so yeah, first things first, um, I'm feeling much better. Thank you. Um, I don't know where that came from. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to wash that off, I guess. Looks like some sort of mineral buildup. Anyway, this is my Filofax Malden trusty. Uh, I've got this since, I don't even know, maybe over a year or so now at least. And uh, I love it. <laughs> it's in the ochre color and the pocket size. Um, so I'm just going to open it and jump in. Um, I've got some stuff in the front here. This is like wallet kind of stuff. Oh, the front pocket is got the card I use to store some miscellaneous washi and some little page flags. This is one of those things that come with like Amazon packages from third party sellers. It's like rate us five stars and we'll give you free stuff. This is totally legit. I haven't checked out what kind of free stuff they're offering in exchange for my dignity. So uh, I'm hanging on to that so I can remember to check it out. And then uh, what is this? Oh, like gas card and library card and then medical stuff. Then I keep most of my wallet in the back right between these two pieces of acetate, but then it can come out. It's on like the, just one of those card pockets. And then the back has a couple of uh, stickers. The back has a couple of stickers and a little bit of cash, actually. I don't always carry cash, but when I do, I want to show it off. Look at that. It's a $5 bill. Um, and I've been using still the G2 in the 0.38 size. If you've only ever used the 0.7, then you, like me, probably don't know um, what all the fuss is about G2s. It's in the fine point size. That's where the fuss is. Because, yeah, the 0.7 black skips like crazy and bleeds and takes forever to... Well, not bleeds, but it takes forever to uh, to dry its smudges. Anyway, here we are. Uh, it's January 2022, and I'm going to try not to get that year wrong. Because I feel like I have been like floating since the beginning of the year, um, kind of going, wait, it's a new year. I'm supposed to like plan stuff and make resolutions. And I kind of have stuff going on in my head, but it hasn't been making it to paper. So it doesn't count. Um, but I did set up some stuff in here. Uh, so let's take a look. I still have the same, um, plastic divider tabs from Marlene's plan to create on Etsy and they have been doing so great. They have not dinged up or anything. And so I see no reason to change them because they are so universal. They go with anything. Um, so this front one, just, I always like to keep something behind it so you can actually see what it says. Um, and in this case, this is the inbox, uh, which like my inbox, this is just the insert 37, the fold out and I have it just a little bit decorated, but I keep it folded shut so that you guys can't see it. That's the point. <laughs> it's secret stuff that I don't want to have to like cover up with sticky notes every time. This is what YouTubers do, I guess. Um, this is sort of a brain dump and I've been on this particular list. Like you saw me set this up. I want to say in like November, it's been a while and I haven't used it up yet. So, um, yeah, it's a to-do list. And I'm pulling things from here to my weekly and then putting them back again. Um, and then this is specifically that, but for channel stuff I'm waiting on, I don't always, but right now my husband's looking for a job. So right now it's like things that I don't want to like spend money on when we don't have to spend money on things. But like someday I'd like to put something pretty in our bathroom because there's nothing in there right now. Um, this guy here is the 52 weeks future log insert 52, of course. Uh, from my shop and I love the idea of it. I just haven't used it yet. Um, the idea of this will be like when I have multiple projects on the horizon, I'll be able to plan out when I'm working on each one. Um, sometimes I get that urge and need it and other times I don't. And right now I am not even at the point where I know what my projects are. It's been a heck of a couple of, I, everyone in my family has been sick on and off since November. Um, and I'm only just recovering. 
this gold plating insert is one of the only things I have left from Peanuts Planner Co. right now. Um, but I really love how simple and awesome it is. So I just had a couple of small little projects that I didn't want to clutter up my weekly with, so I put them in here. Um, so there you go. Some new maybe. Honeydew. This is craft projects, things that... Um, this one, Gino's Pocket. I did that one. I need to actually find some of these. Um, I don't even know what that means. I really need to find some of these and like actually work on them. Um, I figure I have a little bit of time every like Wednesday when a new uh, Disney Plus something comes out and we watch it. So I really should be working on actually doing that um, instead of just sitting there. <laughs> So these three top tabs are for months, weeks, days. So we've got January. This is a freebie dashboard from my shop. Uh, you can check it out. It's insert 62. Um, no, I'm sorry. That's not right. It is not insert 62, but it is a freebie. You just look for freebies and it'll be there uh, for all of 2022. And then this one is insert 62, the month on one page. And then this one, I think is like insert five or something. So uh, you saw me set this up couple of weeks ago and I really like how it looks. I think I really just like the washi layering and uh, it feels very like dashboard, I guess. Um, and so I'm checking this whenever I set up a new weekly page at least and moving anything from here and here. Um, I honestly, I guess I'm not really just a notes person. I don't need a notes section everywhere because if I have notes everywhere, then I may as well have notes nowhere. <laughs> Um, this is my actual future log and January is a mess. Um, right now I haven't fixed it. I'm leaning into it. Um, and I actually don't, well, I guess I do. I have stuff on here. And then this is for anything beyond this year. These are, uh, school calendars. I have them like folded up in here and I'm not going to show them to you for privacy reasons, but that's where those live. Um, and you can just, you know, unfold them. <clears throat> Recurring task list. This is for stuff that happens every, not every month, if that makes sense. So like I've been changing our razors every six weeks to try to get the razors to stretch longer. I'm feeling like it's a little too, a little, a little bit too long, but we'll see. Um, anyway, and uh, yeah, the so that's not on a every month or so basis. Like this stuff, which is insert six three um and so far this is feeling a little bit more chaotic but a little bit more useful and i will report back in a few months how much i like this one versus this one but these are both ways to track the last time i did something and the next time i need to do it library books um i returned some of these actually i forgot to check them off so maybe I'm definitely on top of things. We have to find this one because I did renew it and I could tell you at some point when it's due next because I'm supposed to put that there. Um, this is birthdays and anniversaries. So this is like an evergreen one. I should put some washi on the edge or something to fortify it and make it cute. Um, so I still have weeklies from like December in here because um, the rollover ones, like it... Uh, went from last month into this month, I guess. I mean, I, I clearly delineated between Christmas and January color schemes, but uh, I just, yeah, didn't pull them out because I didn't want to print out a new sticker, or a new photo for the front. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that I did no dailies between the weekend of the 7th and 8th and then today the 13th. Because I have been, as mentioned, sick. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And it's working because I can use this for however much or little I need to. And today I'm going to be using it a little bit. But it's going to be a crazy day at work because they're moving offices and I'm not happy about it. And I just have a few more of these spreads in here. Um, ready to go. And then in my daily section, let's see, I did a daily on Monday, December 6th, and then I guess one at some point after that. And then I set up this lovely four page spread for Christmas 
the four days I would be off um, and honestly didn't look at it that much. Because a lot of times for holidays, like, there's not that much to do. And I do have, like, some checkoffs here, but I didn't check them off in the moment. I checked them off afterwards because I remembered. Like, it wasn't that complicated. Uh, so, anyway, and I haven't used these dailies back here since then because I've been using the Rolling Weeks that has sort of built-in dailies. So I just have a mis miscellaneous uh, selection of dailies in here available to me if I ever feel like I need them. Sometimes this is nice if I feel like I really need to get hardcore or this one for cleaning. This is a Peanuts Planner Co. one. I think this is a freebie still. And then, uh, let's see, side tabs. These are like projects and stuff, which are all notated here on my six tab. Uh, uh, what do you call this? An index. So this is insert 57. Um, and it's very useful when you move stuff around or change stuff up, which I have. These yellow ones are because I couldn't find another teal uh, post-it. And I got rid of a couple of sections because, like, I don't need the Christmas section anymore. And uh, there was something else. Oh, it was already empty. So this is content planning. I'm not going to show it to you because we're so early in the month. But, um, yeah. Oh, I can show you that I accidentally printed them back to back and upside. Well, not upside down. Yes, upside down. Uh, back to back and so I have them in here but they're just upside down and they'll be ready and they'll be fine whatever it, you guys don't even look in there very often uh, then the next section is pregnancy stuff um, so I've got the countdown here this shows you and maybe I should rearrange this just for your benefit so that you can see the back but right now all you can see is up to month four because uh, the back of it is opposite some private information but the idea is you write out your calendar and then i can look and say okay look in you know october uh whatever this date i'll be this so many weeks um and so saturday is my rollover day for my pregnancy i am currently at 24 weeks here in january and then i've got doctor's appointments i've got questions for the doctor and then i've got all of these guys uh, which i just sort of clip them all together for today but yeah these there's one of these for every week I might be reformatting these um and updating it you know obviously for free if you've already bought it but uh that is, now that I've been like using it more um then I've got this these are sort of what I'm leaning on right now I did actually do this I made the packing list and I, I need to sit down and add some more stuff to this list there's not a huge amount for your third kid um, cause there's like stuff that we honestly never even packed away. It's just ready to go. But I still have to like arrange the baptism and all of that. We have to actually talk to the godparents. We haven't asked them yet. So I, I went back and I watched my own hospital bag videos and I took notes and that's what's here. <laughs> but, uh, I probably will add a couple more things and then... But that's, that's my go bag checklist so that it's ready to pack. I haven't packed it yet. I won't probably for another month or so. Um, and kit counts I have printed out, but it's not time to do them yet. I just wanted them handy. Um, I think the doctor will have me start doing them in February uh, as of the last time he talked to me. This next tab is I was taking some notes because I'm not trying to go nuts, but I was making some like essential oil roller balls and stuff um for like sleep and headaches and whatever and so there's like recipes and notes on that and then this section's actually empty which is fine i'm realizing that's actually fine the uh, tab five i don't want to move this because i always know it's tab five and i need to know at a second notice what do we have in the cupboard ready for dinner <laughs> so this is what we have right now available to eat um and so my husband's been helping with that so i actually transposed this onto our shared family calendar and then i forgot to tell him it was there so i have to do that <laughs> but he is actually uh between jobs right now and so he is doing some more cooking especially well now that everyone's sick um so that helps he helped me actually make the meal plan this time this week so um, I was, I need to blow my nose, but I'm not going to do it until after I finish filming. So <laughs> you can tell, uh, yeah, so I always have my meal plan back here, 
this is at least what I have available and then I can plan it out. Um, I don't always. A lot of times it's just like, well, what do you want tonight? Here's what we can choose from. And then this is gift ideas. Uh, a lot of these are things that we've re-gifted already, so that's great. Some are sort of brainstormy ideas, and a lot of them are things. Yeah, I think we got rid of everything that was, like, needed to be re-gifted, that was, like, duplicates we got. Then this is my own personal wish list. And then my to-read watch list. I don't always look at this. I really go more by, like, what I feel in the moment and a lot of times I just watch a lot of YouTube and just staying caught up on all of my YouTube subscriptions is like a full-time job anyway. Um, this is my MCU rewatch which is kind of in stops and starts. Um, I think I'm in the middle of Iron Man 3 or I may have already watched it. I can't remember. I definitely know that I never saw it before. Yeah I definitely finished watching it because I had not seen it before but I watched it before Shang-Chi and I'm glad I did. Anyway um yeah, that's, that's there so that at least I know the order of things because I, I don't feel like I trust Disney Plus to show me the correct order of release. Um, and then the last tab is spare paper. And I don't know if I showed these off last video, but I got some new um, Peanuts Planner Co. sticky notes. Um, I was going to say in the Black Friday sale, but it was actually after the Black Friday sale because I wanted to use my peanut points. I had to do that when there wasn't a sale going on. Um, so yeah, I've got these, uh, these are like appointment mugs. Actually, I think this one was a freebie. She tossed these in for free, uh, with the rest of my order. This is just grid. This is a checklist and these are the dailies, which I've had before and loved. Um, so I just got those. Um, I've used them. I think maybe one of these once so far. I love that these are the right size. Um, they're so simple and they're great when you just need to toss something in. Um, I can also endorse my mini notes, Insert 70, which are just released and which I don't have any of in here right now. So never mind. Go check out Peanuts Planner Co. Sticky Notes instead. Um, then I've got, so, but that's like covering all of my grid pages. And so unfortunately that's how it is right now, um, is that if I want to use one of these grid pages, I have to move the sticky notes somewhere else. So I, I can't find a perfect solution, but I'd like to have those handy. Uh, two columns are useful for things. Sometimes I just don't want to have to make a second column, you know? Um, so I have several of those actually checklists. I just have whatever I have printed in here. These ones are actual post-its that are the same size as the Peanuts Panico ones. So I use these when I don't want to like make it look pretty. And then these were from like sticky note indexes of yore and I didn't want to redo them or like throw them out. So they're in here in case I want to reuse them. Um, and then, like I said, the wallet stuff goes here and that's the tab index. So there you go. I keep my pen in the rings because if you've ever used a Malden, you know that this is its one downfall. I have it, as you can see, paper clipped down and even that I need to kind of flatten out again um, because it's kind of useless and my personal one is a little bit worse than useless because the lining of it kind of folds in on itself and so it will like block itself if you don't do it the correct direction anyway that is my setup I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the look and the realism of it um, I am going to go blow my nose, and I hope that you guys are going to go have a great day. Um, I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday. All right. Bye.